Hey guys, welcome back to the Romeo HD channel. I'm back with another episode of this My Journey series. This is the last episode of uh, season one, and uh, we have a big game for you to start this episode with Borussia Dortmund versus Hertha Berlin. If I win, I secure top four. If uh, they lose, they hand the title to Bayern Munich. The, that that's if Bayern Munich don't lose also, but I have to not score over a certain amount of goals because they may slip they may slip in a goal difference and still lose the title to to Bayern Munich. Um yeah, this is the formation I'm going with. 3-1-4-2. Uh this is my most trusted formation in terms of getting goals out of the squad. I'm not too sure if it's going to work against Dortmund. They do have like a scatter kind of tactic in game. They play, they press way too much. So yeah, let's just see how it goes and uh yeah, I hope you enjoy uh, the next few games coming up ahead is not going to be voiceovers it's extended highlights so yeah you will hear a live reaction so yeah let's get into the game So welcome ladies and gentlemen back, back again with live reaction, this is going to be a big finale, Borussia Dortmund versus Hertha Berlin, last time I played Borussia Dortmund, I managed to beat them, hopefully this time around will be a piece of cake. Yeah, it's just the anticipation and the build-up of this game. It's kind of getting to me. I don't know what to expect from my defence. I don't know what to expect from my attack. So we begin a big game. Borussia Dortmund versus Hertha Berlin. With the team in red, of course. So they're giving the ball away already. Dortmund have possession again. Ball played over the top. Chakwizi chasing the ball. Schwaller manages to get a, get a touch onto that. There's Brand. Oh, Haaland. What a save by Schwaller. Oh, what kind of tackle was that? Ref, please clamp down on these tackles. We can't have that. It's the last game of the season. Dortmund have a title to be playing for. They shouldn't be playing SmackDown versus Raw. I wonder what the scores are elsewhere. There's uh, Julian Brandt. Royce. Ooh, Brandt has turned my, my centre back. He turns back though. Danger's kind of gone. They still have possession. There's Emre Chan. Dispossessed by K Kana. There's Piatic. Hard touch, poor touch. Finds Oscar though, and he finds Mittelstadt. I cut it back to Oscar, and Chan is there to intercept the pass. Up front, here's Colin Grant. He's got Karna covering though, but he shouldn't be doing stuff like that. Grant is like the talk of the town now. He's been getting hat tricks, scoring braces. I think he's going to be a real star next season. Touch wood, if we do lo lose a Piatic, I think we have Carl and Grant and we shouldn't have anything to be worried about. Ball swung in. Grant on the far post and he heads it. It's gone wide on the post. He really should be getting that on target. If I'm honest with you. Ripped over a nice cross. That should be 1 0. What's Boyata doing? He's not. He has no discipline right now. Ball swung in. Sholo does come out and catches it. If Haaland was to get on the end of that, our top four hopes will be in jeopardy. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> They're starting to move the ball. I don't like the look of this. 
So corner taken. It's a poor corner cleared out by Chukwizi. Sadar. Stark. Piatic. Thinks over the top. It's Carlin Grant. What the hell was that? I was aiming for Piatic. Let me cut off his angles. Nope. That was the wrong way to do it. No worries though. I can attack again. Here's Piatic. He cuts in on his left foot. Takes a shot and a great save by Kobu. Brilliant piece of skill by Piatic. There's the save by Kobu. When the team's well organized at a corner, we never really score. Let me swing this in. We swung in. Headed by Jord oh, Jordan Torinag Riga. His header goes wide on the post. It's a goal kick. Guys, you already know. I don't know how to say half these names, but I'm going to try. <laughs> I may butcher it. But we learn. We, we learn every day. So if people come, correct me in the comment section and basically dumb down the pronunciations of the names. I haven't got an issue with that. We learn every day. Here's Richter. Ball swung in. Here's Oscar. We take the lead. 1-0. Our top four hopes have increased. We lead a goal to nil. But on the other hand, we do not want Bayern Munich to win the league. And Borussia Dortmund cannot lose this. It's a sacrifice I have to make. We all hate Bayern Munich. But I cannot play in the Conference League. Because if Much and Gladbach win and Wolfsburg win, that's what that's where I'm heading. <laughs> in the Conference League. And we can't have that. Okay, yep. Yeah. Half-time whistle has been blown. It's a decent scoreline for me. We played decent. Not great. Um, Dortmund have given us the ball back quite a lot. They've been wasteful in possession. I just don't want Erling Haaland to wake up in the second half. So these are the scores elsewhere. So I'm going to give you a quick rundown of these scores. So Stuttgart are losing 1 0 at home to Kolner. Uh, Cologne, if that's how you pronounce it. Uh, Union Berlin are 1 0 down to Bochum. Leverkusen are drawing 1 with Freiburg. Ulsberg are losing 1 0 at home to 5th. Uh, Gladbach are drawing 0 0 at half time with uh, Hoffenheim. So he's not letting me scroll down. Uh, we've got Wolfsburg leading 1 0 against Bayern Munich. Okay, if it remains the same, Borussia Dortmund can remain, champ remain as champions. I, that's, that's the outcome I would want, if I'm honest with you. Um, Mainz are drawing 1 1 with Frankfurt. And Leipzig are drawing 0 0 with Ar Armenia, uh, Bielefeld. And uh, yeah, we can start the second half. So we'll get the second half underway. They brought on Lucas Mora for uh, Forgan Hazard. Hopefully, that doesn't make uh, a massive effect or cause a massive effect, shall I say, uh, on the on the way things are going. I don't want Dortmund to get a hand back in the game. Piatic! And I've made it 2-0. What a start to the second half. This guy, he just can't stop scoring. I, I, I wouldn't blame Man City if they came and stole this guy off me. Misinforming the masses. Okay, here's the hood. Emre Chan into Haaland. Haaland into Brand. Chuck Weezy inside the box. What a tackle by Stark. What a tackle. We must have a look at that <laughs> again. Once play goes out, what a tackle. Oh, no. Don't let him. Cool, 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 cool. Just slow everything down. Hoof up the field. Shield the ball. Give and go. There's Mittelstadt. Mittelstadt on the left-hand side. He has several options in the middle. He swings it in. Sadar has made it 3-0. It's safe to say we have made it into Champions League football. Nice cross on the far post. 
Well, to the far post, and Sadar nods it in. Look at this, middle stat. Bombing down the left hand side, arrows it into the far post. And managed to get to the header before the hood. Rainier tries to pick out a free ball pass into Guerrero and it's cut out. It's free at the back has really, really got dormant on ropes. Piatek in behind and a save by Kobel. Got one minute left to play. One minute and we can be confirmed into the Champions League draw next season for the group stages. Unless we do a qualifiers, I'm not too sure how it works in Germany. In the in Premier League, when you get fourth place, you don't have to qualify for group stages. Ball swung in and Mbappé clears it. So guys, there we go. The match has ended. We have won three goals to nil against Dortmund away from home. It's been a wonderful end to the season. Great run by my players. We have dropped points via draws. We haven't lost any games. Possible title contenders next season because we did have title contender form after January. So guys, the league season has drawn to an end and now we turn our attention to the DFB Pokal. Um, this is the press conference before the game. I'm basically talking about my team and uh, letting the press know I fancy our chances against Leverkusen. Obviously, we've battered them before in the league, but league form and cup form are two different things. I just want my players to focus and not get distracted on the occasion. In front of us, we have the team of the tournament in the Bundesliga. Uh, yeah, we only have a few players in that. We have uh, Boyata, Sadar and Piatic. They've, they've all made a team of the season. And a goalkeeper of the tournament is Jan Samir. A player of the tournament is obviously Piatic uh, with his 34 goals in the league. Uh, outstanding goal scoring record. And the player with the most assists is Swat Sedar. Very, very underrated. I didn't expect him to be this good coming into this squad. Wonderful player. So guys, this is the formation I'm going with. I'm going with a three at the back. Basically, I just want to attack them relentlessly. My best form of defence is probably scoring goals and outscoring them. So yeah, if this goes wrong, then it's back to the drawing board next season. But I don't see my team conceding too many goals. Uh, I want to be the team to score first. If not, it's going to be one of them games where I have to fight back and relentlessly press them until they cave in. So yeah, enough of the chit chat. Let's go into the game. Uh, let's see how everything unfolds. Im diesjährigen DFB Pokal, das Finale steht an. Bleiben Sie dran. Wir melden uns live aus dem Olympiastadion. So guys, here we go in the Olympia Stadion. We have the DFL Pokal. Hertha Berlin versus by Leverkusen. Last time we played Leverkusen, I think we battered them 8 0, 7 0. They got demolished, basically. <laughs> so, this is the pathway to the final. We beat uh, Dortmund 5 2 and they beat Schalke 3 1. I'm not going to underestimate them because of our last head to head. I'm going to take this match very serious. I'm going to try to play the best football possible. If we do get undone, we made it this far. I can pat myself on the back. We've overachieved the season. We got top four instead of just getting the top half of the table. When uh, we had Dortmund, I believed we would have got knocked out. Also, when we had Wolfsburg, to be honest, I thought they were going to turn up against us. We've not really had an easy ride to the final, but we somehow overcome every obstacle. Let's go. We kick off. Um, I'm just going to go attacking. Off the rip. 
I'm going to let my intentions be known from the beginning. So I think uh, Leverkusen are trying to play a high pressing game. It's going to end badly for them. Already well, I'm in, in behind the defence. There's Richter and a great save by the keeper. Oh, Piatek misses the flipping rebound. He's hit the side fucking netting. What is he doing there? Goalkeeper had it covered anyway. Uh, Zamiri. Swings it to the left hand side to Musa Diaby. It's Bekir. Oh, they're moving the ball around really quickly. It's Patrick Schick. Oh, I thought that was going to be a goal. Well, they have another opportunity to shoot. And they've, they've scored. After like five shots, they managed to get into the back of the net. Oh, look at this glitch. I'm so upset about that. How have we conceded that? I thought we were going to get the ball cleared eventually. But that last block by uh, Boyata, Boyata wasn't enough. And it falls it fall straight to Schick. And he volleys it. The keeper didn't really know what was going on. I can't blame him. I think everyone did what they could. They threw their bodies in front of every shot. Can't really complain. So we're losing 1-0. There's uh, Musa Diaby. Oh, guys. <laughs> oh, I'm so upset right now. I'm trying to not be a sore loser. I'm trying to keep a brave face <laughs> and not be a sore loser. I'm very frustrated. You'll see it in my actions in the game. I, normally, I wouldn't make a tackle like that. You can tell I'm very pissed off. I didn't need to make that tackle. Oh, God. He almost scored this just now as well. Nice save by the keeper. Here's Richter. He's on the line. Dribbles the ball away. Piatic. Gets an overlapping run by uh, Oscar. Oscar bombing away down the left-hand side. I cut it back to Piatic. Oh, uh, Piatic. I don't know what he was doing the first touch. They have really aggressive centre backs and they're quick as well. There's Carlin Grant. Oh, I got open space to run into. Here's Carlin Grant. Carlin Grant! And I made it 1 1. What were they thinking? They parted the sea like it was like I was Moses. They just split. They just gave me an open pathway to run. <laughs> and I, that's exactly what I done. That's criminal. You can't do that with Carlin Grant. It's Schick. Yeah. Amiri. Yeah, Mossa Diaby. He cuts it back to Bakel. Diaby. Well done by Stark. Wish I never got him booked though. He is one of the players that throws himself around a lot compared to the other centre backs. It's a good trait to have, but he's booked, so it's very dangerous. Nice ball out to the left into Mittelstadt. He's being chased down by Fosu Mensa. A cutback. Piatek has scored. 2-1. 34th minute. I thought I missed the opportunity there. I thought the cutback was just too much. And I thought I put way too much power. Oh, the title. The title. <laughs> it can be mine. It will be a nice little momentum to put in my honours. First year as a manager, I'm in a final and we are turning up. Okay, we're in a winning position. This is something we need to work on. We've been needing to work on this all season, which is holding on to a winning position and not conceding too many goals. Because when I do go attacking, I do leave myself vulnerable to counter attacks. Sadar. Nice ball over the top into Piatic. Here's Piatic. And I've made it 3 1. Very easy. Very easy attack. Is this going to be a repeat of the league match? Because if they keep leaving spaces open like that, I'm just going to exploit it. That was a nice ball over the top by Sadar. Nice first touch by Piatic. Just shoots across the keeper. 
Nice one too between. Ooh, they're moving the ball too nice. Let's stop this. Break this down. Break it down. Oh my God. Gave him too much space to shoot. So these are the stats at half time. Not a lot of passes between the two teams. But we do have a high scoring game. It's just a lot. It's just about pressing a lot. Um, our expected goals is 2.6. They have a 1.4 uh, statistic. It's quite even in possession. Quite even. Uh, breakaways. We've had three break breakaways and they've had one. Defending. So yeah, not much going on in terms of the statistics. But there's no team that's actually playing good football. I don't con I don't consider this good football. I'm happy we're winning three one, but we've not really shown our class in terms of our technical ability. It's because of the way they're playing. They're just playing high pressing, so all I need to do is buy some time and do a through ball over the top and then Bob Joranko. Nope. Okay, I get clamped in possession. Paulinho wasn't playing any games just now. I was trying to toy with the ball. Wasn't having it. It's middle stat. Well done. See, look, so much pressing going on. I'm just gonna play one ball. <gasps> no, cleared out. <laughs> I could see the corner. I had to concede the corner. I don't know what happened there. Let's see. Let's get the indicator up. Look, I was aiming over there. Guys, you can see that. I was aiming all the way over there, but he kicks it straight into the into the player. It would have gone out for a throw-in if, if it did go where I wanted it to go, but just goes to show this game's very dodgy. Guys, if you're new to the channel, please remember to subscribe if you made it this far. Leave a like as well. Drop comments below. Ooh. Nice, nice attempt. Great save. Drop comments below. Let me know what you think about my performance so far in this episode. Managed to secure top four in Champions League football next season. I'm 3 1 up. Sloppy play in the second half, though. Oh, no. Get this ball cleared. As soon as we get the ball, get it cleared. Oh, I'm toying around with the ball too much. It's not realistic. You ain't need to fix this. Teams don't man mark like this. <laughs> Who does that? <laughs> Look, I can't even throw the ball out. I can't pass the ball to anyone. They're playing exactly how Liverpool play in the Premier League on this game. But this is why I'm winning this this uh, this amount because they're leaving so many gaps in behind. What a volley by Mittelstadt! What a volley! Wax that first time. What a goal, it's 4-1. I'm going to keep going. <laughs> All the times I had to struggle while I was playing with Watford, I'm going to keep going. Look at this ball by Richter, just dinks it over the top. By the way, that was a free ball, it wasn't a natural cross. Look at this wonderful angle on this volley, smashes it home. So I may stick with this 4 I mean, sorry, this 3-5-2 formation for next season. Oh, I'm playing Schick in behind. Well done, Schwolo. Schick with the header. Of course it's going to go in. I haven't got much of a reaction for this because this is what this game does. Like, when the game is losing like this, it starts scripting weird scenarios. Like... I can't move the ball around. I, I wish this was entertaining to watch and nice to watch on the eye. But it can't be because, yeah, the game's going to do what it does. I can't pass the ball around like I normally do. And it's not like us. Like, when we do high press, it lasts like 30 seconds. The AI's high press lasts... I don't know how long it lasts. It's, it's infinite. It's infinite press. That's what, it, that's what I should call it. Infinite press. I haven't made any changes yet. 
I've got Luka Bakio waiting to make an appearance. There's Richter up against Tatsuba. Oh no, that's not Tatsuba, that's Kosanu. There's Richter. He cuts it back. Mittelstadt takes a shot and he scores his second goal of the game. That's 5 2. What a player he's been in this game. I writ him off after I signed Angeleri. But ever since I signed Angeleri and gave him a chance, he's actually turned up any time I give, I've given him an appearance. And he's here in a very attacking position right now. There's Sadar. Piatic. Oscar. And that's 6-2. That's a very convincing win in a, in a cup final. We are going to be a problem next season. I can guarantee that. Oh. There we go, guys. We've done it. We've done it. We have been crowned DFB Pokal champions. I went from battling relegation with Watford to joining Hertha Berlin in November. Taking them on an awesome run. We confirmed top four. We've got Champions League. And now we've got silverware in the first season. I've got a lot of youth players coming in. In several positions as well. A lot of Deadwood is going to be released. And the current players I have are only getting better as well. Uh, EA, what are you doing? I want to see the celebration. Weird angle. So Diedrich Boyata is about to hold his first trophy as a Hertha Berlin captain. We've done it. Hopefully there's many more to come. So yeah, guys, this is how the table looks at the very, very end of the season. Um, we should have probably gone over this when the actual league season stopped. So Borussia Dortmund ended up losing the title after we beat them 3-0 uh, on head-to-head. -head. They lost it to Bayern Munich. They both share the same amount of uh, goal difference and points. So Bayern Munich win the league because of uh, their head-to-head -head games that they played against each other. Leipzig finished third place with 68 points. We finished fourth with 62 points. Uh, two points ahead of Wolfsburg, who finished fifth. Uh, they ended on 60 points. Munchen Gladbach got 57 points and ended, si ended, up, on, ended up sixth place, sorry. Uh, Leverkusen, they finished ninth with 48 points. So yeah. That is very unexpected, uh, Labour Cruiser finishing ninth. So we started off, I think uh, we started off against uh, Wurzburg. I wasn't here in round two. And then um, against uh, Victoria Col uh, Cologne, Colna, don't know how to pronounce it, sorry. I joined and uh, we ended up winning that game 2-1. Then we got to the quarterfinals against Wolfsburg. We beat them 3-1. Uh, Dortmund away from home we beat them 5-2 and then in the all-important final we end up beating Leverkusen 6-2 so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go through all the top leagues the top European leagues and mention the top four uh, or top six shall I say so the top six in the Premier League Manchester City win the league uh, by four points, they, they end the season on 82 points. Uh, Man United finished second on 78 points. Tottenham Hotspur got 77 points and ended up third. 
Chelsea ended up fourth with 75 points on the table. Liverpool, they ended up fifth with 75 points on the table. They ended up uh, fifth because of their goal difference um, against Chelsea as well. Uh, yeah, and Everton, they finished in the top six, so they ended up with 66 points. So in the Farmers League, Paris Saint-Germain ended up winning the league. Uh, they won it by a mile away. I think it's, uh, my maths is correct, 15 points. Lille ended up second. Uh, they did offer me a contract at their club and I rejected probably because, yeah, that league is so boring. Uh, yeah, they ended up with 69 points. Third place was AS Monaco with 68 points. Uh, Lyonnais have uh, ended up with 64 points and they finished fourth. They drew on points with uh, with Marseille, but I think they ended up fourth because of head-to-head. -head. Marseille ended up fifth place. Uh, Strasbourg ended up sixth place with 62 points. Oh, so AC Milan are first place. They won the league, they won the Serie A. Napoli ended up second with 82 points. Uh, Juventus, uh, Piemonte Calcio, ended up with 77 points and finished third. Roma FC ended up uh, fourth place and uh, with 75 points. Inter Milan, they've missed out on top four uh, just by two points and they ended up uh, fifth place with 73 points. Uh, Latium, aka Lazio, uh, they ended up with uh, 71 points and finished sixth. Okay, so La Liga. La Liga is very interesting. Barcelona, they won the league by 11 points. Um, yeah, they end up first place on 88 points. Villarreal finished second with 77 points. Atletico Madrid finished, 70, uh, finished with 76 points and finished third. Sevilla got top four and got 71 points. And Real Madrid, they're in Europa League next season. That's quite odd. <laughs> They ended up uh, with 70 points and finished 5th. Wow. Wow. Uh, Valencia, they finished 6th uh, with 68 points as well. And an honourable mention, Celtic have won the title. They got their title back. Uh, Rangers, yeah. <laughs> Rangers were far away from them. They were 20, wait, not even 22 points. Wait, yeah, they were 22 points behind. So yeah, they finished second with 56 points. Celtic finished first with 78 points. They won it by a landslide. So guys, Tottenham Hotspur have won the Conference League against Galatasaray. Uh, they won 3-0. So they have uh, got a spot in Europa League automatically. Europa League winners are Villarreal, uh, yeah, for some reason, it's not showing any context to it, but Valeria are the Europa League winners. And the all-important Champions League winners are Liverpool. They beat Paris Saint-Germain 3-1 in the final to become European champions. So I've received a, a really good offer from Leicester City to come manage them. They finished 7th in the league. Uh, they offered me 125 k per week to join them. However, I will be remaining at Hertha Berlin because, yeah, I've got a project to do. And I want to challenge for the title next season and see how everything goes. I'm going to re restructure the club and uh, basically instill my philosophy next season as well. So the next part is the end of season review. We'll be taking a look at some of the player accolades that I've noticed and spotted uh, during the course of a season. So first one is player of the season, instantly is Piatek. From the moment I joined her for Berlin, he was the main guy uh, that I could rely on in big moments, whether it's just poaching. Link up play obviously needs to improve, but yeah, he was always there when I needed him. And he's also a top goal scorer as well, 37 goals, an impressive record. He also got the highest average rating in the squad as well. And uh, my best signing was Grant, um, Oscar, Oscar just about lost out to Grant. I signed Grant for 8 million. He's really surprised me. He hit the ground running. He scored a few hat tricks. He got 16 goals and uh, 7 assists. So that's 23 goal involvements since joining in January, which is very impressive. Uh, another player to mention is 18 year old uh, Michael Cook. I didn't expect much from him, but he played really well whenever I brought him into the team. 
His overall's only at 60, so I don't think he's going to be a world beater. But yeah, he's someone that I'm going to try to use and build upon uh, next season. So my honourable mentions are Schwolo, a great goalkeeper. He saved us numerous of times. Uh, yeah, he's kept out the likes of Haaland, Schick, many other great goal scorers in Bundesliga and Lewandowski as well. And also Suat Sadar, he got a top goal, wait, sorry, top assists. And uh, he took me by surprise as well. His overall was 76 when I first joined. He didn't look like a box-to-box -box player because it said he was a centre mid and a CDM. But every time I needed him, he always arrived late in the box and he was very effective in the middle. So guys, that concludes season one. Um, I hope you enjoyed the content. If you have, please leave a like. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe as well. Drop comments below for ideas for season two in terms of signings and uh, restructuring the club. And I hope to see you soon. Goodbye for now. Hey, 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 hey.